Well, good evening. This is Mark Soden for Wonder Valley Experimental number 15. And I'm here with Paul Angelo Santo, and he's with Static Apparitions. Hi, Paul. Hi, Mark. How are you, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. How are you doing? Ah, moving and grooving. Good. Uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, Static Apparitions is in both the virtual and the physical version of Wonder Valley Experimental 15. So I thought I would ask, you're doing both. You're the only person doing both. Uh, what do you expect to bring to each of those? Well, what we're trying to bring to both of them is obviously different. One of them is virtual. So we shot some footage over the summer um, and we put together a video based on that and audio that we recorded at the same time that we shot the video. Um, so that's a total virtual sort of thing. Um, and what we're going to do live, it is actually our first live performance as Static Apparitions. So we want to just try to do something that's definitely different from our other endeavors and try to give everyone something, you know, we've listened to the, what I, what I like about Wonder Valley is I've listened to a fair amount of the artists that are performing. They're not all the same, even though we may be all experimental, everyone seems to be trying to find a different avenue, which is great. And I think we've tried to find a different avenue from the others as well. So hopefully we'll give some, everyone will help contribute another unique part to the show. Outstanding. So um, you're going to be traveling. So I yep. uh, was wondering what your travel setup might be like. Well, uh, it's going to be small. Uh, I was actually tested. I tested all of the gear out. Um, so my side of the gear is going to be uh, a cassette recorder uh, with the tape, uh, some effects pedals, uh, an Aztec death whistle, which I'm actually bringing in honor of you, because you've mentioned liking that. And uh, a little Monotron synthesizer. And uh, my partner, Deb, she's going to be bringing, well, she hasn't finalized her gig set up yet. And I don't want to speak for her, but she's definitely going to be bringing a few different things as well. But we're going to keep it small because we're traveling and we've got a long ways to go. So, you know, we got to keep it light. But mm -hmm. I think. I think it will work for the amount of time that we have on the set. And I think we'll keep it interesting. Good, good. Um, yeah, the Monotron, that the little Korg thing. Yeah. That, those are great. Yeah, they're wonderful. Um, it's amazing, like, how, how much sound you can get out of them. And if you run it through the right effects pedal, which I think I found a really good marriage of an effects pedal for it, uh, I think you can get some really great stuff out of it. Outstanding. I can't wait to hear it. So um, are you doing any other shows uh, while you're while you're out? Uh, no, we're just going to do this one um, mm -hmm. and hang out and enjoy the scene. Uh, we've never been to that part of California before, so it'll be nice. Um, we've looked it up online. There seems to be a lot of fun things to do around there. We saw there's a drive in near there. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. And the de and obviously the desert. We're thinking about going out and recording in the desert one night. That oh, might I think you fun. should. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so, uh, we're really just looking forward to it and looking forward to seeing all the other acts too. Well, it's uh, quite, uh, we've uh, been very fortunate. We have a wonderful lineup this year and I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing the live show. Yeah, me and too. The, and the virtual show because we, that's, uh, yet to be written as well so you guys have a pretty epic past of working in outdoor settings and um, just talk a little bit about uh, static apparitions and what you've done in the past and what you might be bringing with you well static apparitions is really all about imp being improv improvisation and improvising music and trying to find a balance between noise and music, trying to keep both going at the same time. And 
as we've got, we got interested in playing outside through a few Tim friends of ours, like Tim Munganast uh, and Eric Dahlman. Uh, they both have played outside a lot and we thought, well, they're doing it. Why not? Let's give it a shot. And we found a few good places like um, Echo Bridge over in Newton, Mass. Uh, is a wonderful place. I highly recommend if anyone in the Massachusetts area is looking for some fun place to record at that it's amazing over there the echo right under that bridge is stunning um and we also found a really nice place in uh, the stone tower in lynn which is actually where the video is mostly based on that's going to be in wonder valley 15. um there's this tower that someone built quite a long time ago and when they open it up and we got in there um you know it's open to the public most of the time but they don't always have it open per se but when we got inside wow the reverb in there was crazy it was great and there was also this great flowing wind sound uh that came in as well funny thing was is we really went to that space in lynn because there's a cave that someone made there to hide pirate treasure and we thought, oh, this is going to sound really great. And it's going to have excellent reverb and all this other stuff. Excellent echo. And it actually sounded pretty flat and dead. <laughs> I was really wow. kind of shocked. Yeah. And then we went up to the tower thinking, oh, this is going to probably sound okay. And that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. So pro tip, if you want to do some uh, recording in a great reverb place, go to that stone tower. Wow. That's, that's marvelous. So, um, Eric has played, Eric Dahlman has yep. played Wonder Valley. And uh, I've seen him out in California in a couple of different settings. He also played uh, uh, Sound Pedro uh, last year. So he uh, he's uh, pioneered coming west and doing this thing. Um, you, uh, you guys have worked together in some interesting settings. And I know that Eric has worked at the... Um, uh, a railroad tunnel yeah in, in massachusetts have you recorded at the railroad tunnel yeah we actually got inspired by them uh eric and tim recording over there and we thought we'd give it a try we did it as astro al though mm -hmm. uh, and we actually went to a show that tim and eric did at the tunnel they did a record release party at the tunnel and that was you know it was a very small show honestly um but it was also one of the best shows I've ever been to. It was amazing. You know, we just sat in the tunnel and they started at one end of the tunnel and at the beginning of the show. And by the end of the show, they were at the far end of the tunnel. And I, I really just don't know how to describe it. You had to be there to experience this really surreal kind of fun show in the middle of this abandoned train tunnel. That's but the amazing. acoustics in there are incredible um really really stunning acoustics in that place someday so uh, about video production let's talk about that now you go and you shoot a lot of uh footage and then uh deb edits it and you mix the the sound is that correct yeah that's absolutely correct uh we both shoot some of the footage um and we found the way that we like to work for the videos the best is I'll go and work in the audio, give her, present her with the audio, uh, and then she'll go and um, just take all the footage and put together the video for it. I see. And, and okay. you know, we both have a little input in the other, other side, but really I just kind of leave more or less, leave most of the video work to her. Um, I trust her to do all that stuff. Is there anything you'd like to say to um, the people that are watching that are going to be coming or to both the virtual and the, um, the physical Wonder Valley? Well, I hope everyone who comes and watches, I hope you just enjoy, you know, come and open your mind up, experience something different and enjoy the infotainment of Fog Machine. Thank you so much. Well, thank you again. This is uh, Paul Angelo Santo for Static Apparitions, and we're going to wind it up now.